Hello everybody and welcome back to Mafia 1 Definitive Edition. Hope you're all doing well. Right, let's go and meet with Soleri. Oh look, can I explore up here? I'm gonna explore his house. Let me in. Okay, I can't go in any of the build any of the rooms. There he is. Sorry, I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last night. We'll make sure he pays us the interest deals. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stick to breaking legs. We're better than that. If the bill's still due, then everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Now, then he said to say he's got something for you, Tom. That damn first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy in black 20 years ago. Well, I want to get that card that's in there. Hey, got a, got a comic. Well, you got me. I go. Yeah, carry a rat. Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. They don't count. Pointed at the target over there. You bust your little knee now. Bang. Bring all up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. Oh, that's oh. cool. Last thing, hit. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something. And don't shoot yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's him. Oh, thank you. He's one of my friends then. So at least we got a friend. There we go, we can get a car. Look, you guys need to be careful, okay? I spoke to Biff, he said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, what's losing some motors to him? We got at least five garages this side of town. He's not around, oh. You guys know what my time now. You, you, you know how to get, to get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside, easy. And then afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Water. Ah. You're a regular magician, Ralph. Mm. That's why right, better. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Can we change the radio station? How do we do that? Okay, what we got here? 
We just collected some, didn't we? Five percent we got. Oh, that's sick. Flip the card. Ah, mob enforcer Paul Lombardo operates in the streets and alleyways of Little Italy, Lost Heaven. Quick tempered and fiery, he oversees a tight network of criminals and informants, law to his boss Don Solari. Wherever he walks, he is greeted by the fake smiles of the extorted and the fearful. To earn his displeasure is ill advised. If he stops to talk, he wants money, not the time of day. Oh, that's, that's just really cool. Okay, what else have we got? We've got another one somewhere, haven't we? And there's this one, Detective. Okay, we can't flip it. And we can't read anything from it. Oh, I thought we could read, like, that'd be cool. Oh, that's how you change it. There's two. I'm going to do that one. What is this? Two different radio stations. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. I'm reading this first. Let's read the note. Dear Mr. Bertarelli, this letter is notification that you in default of your obligation to make payment on your agreed loan. This amount has been overdue since July 15th, 1930. You have ignored requests to pay this debt unless the full amount is received within two weeks. I will have no choice but to instruct this bank I was a process on your home and business. Please act accordingly, Christopher Marcina, manager, Grand Imperial Bank. Jeez. No wonder he can't pay it. We're extorting. We're taking money from him. What's this? Oh, another card. I know. I'm just looking. I'm exploring. Roll up. I'll read that card in a bit. She did, she's swearing at me. I got it. See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom. Huh? Yeah, I don't think she cares. Up, we got old Eugene's place, the China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom, his name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. 
Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminding too. No police, so I don't need to go too slow. I don't think this is going to run as smoothly as I as it looks. Like. It's running smoothly at the moment, isn't it? I don't think it's going to run as smooth like smoothly in the next one. This one probably will, but then in this side there's a few. Something's going to end up happening. Like why were we given a gun? They wouldn't have given us a gun unless something was going to happen. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Why for Paul? He's doing the store on his own. Yeah, oh, this is going to be do dodgy. A little steam, and he's to let it out on his own. She got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. I'm fine with being alone, just fine. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on his tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. What the hell did he do? Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet, Wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew oh. guys scrubbing their own blood and crashed into counters. it. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone can do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, oh, I think oh. you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I can smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his jade. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here, it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. 
Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before I lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Oh, okay. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. I like it out, out here. Don't get me wrong, I like the theme and that of the city. But... Being out in the country rocks. Okay, there it is. Finally! Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Oh no, something's gonna happen, innit? No smoking. Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back. Or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Where's your phone? They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Why don't you just hang on? Oh crap. Be enough way to get in. Sure, nobody's gonna get me.
He's gonna die in here. What are you doing? Don't pick the bloody body up, we don't need it, you lunatic. Read note, bring preferity electro Robert Giuliotti for city council, trusted figure in lost heaven, owner of boat yard and industry employed of thousands, friend of city, beautiful father and husband. What are you doing? Okay. Are you ever going at your mind, yeah? That was what I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Jesus, that was a crazy one, weren't it? Whew. Bloody told you something was going to happen, didn't I? Knew something was going to happen. So that's how it made it. Ruka goes from cabbie to mob and force her overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner of the ads. It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you'll bust in your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. 
And an extra stuff in your pockets for the Salieri's dirty money. And lording over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared him to look in the other way. He did seem to have a city joking in its own shadow, or did he that? You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Hmm, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Wait, I hear it. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Uh oh. Jesus, Barry, Joseph, dumb. Tom I didn't know it was you. Oh, you're dead. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joe? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grizzle bent up us all. I mean, I got a cousin again. Oh, no. What the hell? In psychopath. Absolute psycho. No one says shit to him. What a jerk. Someone spun your tail, pal. You got new foreman right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. Don't don't square. Maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booths, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But, I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing we know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. He ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Monroe. Well, you think he's from the European? Well, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to Grabber? Can't find him. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers are still. 
everyone will cry foul, say the racist things. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Right, I'm going to finish this video here guys, uh, in the next one we'll get to talk to Ralph and do the next mission I suppose. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far, really really good game. Anyway, um, till next time guys, take care.